Hey, Clara. How are you feeling? Hey, Emily. I'm just a bit sick this morning, but I'll be fine. Clara, you don't look fine. Lately, you've been so tired, and the way you react to food smells is strange. Maybe we should go to the hospital. No, Emily. I appreciate it, but I'll tough it out. No need to worry. Clara, something's not right. Please, tell me what's going on. I promise it's not a big deal. I'll be fine soon. This has been going on for days. Are you sure you're not pregnant? <laughs> What are you saying? I'm not pregnant. Don't think like that. But those symptoms are concerning. Clara, you've been vomiting so frequently. What's happening? Ugh, I really can't hide anything from you, sis. Indeed, I am pregnant. What? But how? When did it happen? That's too many questions. Wait, Clara, who's the father? Is it your ex? No, it's not him. I can't tell you everything right now, but please, Emily, don't tell our parents. But why? They need to know about this. No, don't. They won't accept this. I don't want to let them down. I get it, Clara. I won't tell them if you don't want to. But you have to see a doctor. We need to make sure you and the baby are healthy. I promise, Emily. Thank you for understanding. We'll get through this together, Clara. But you need proper medical care. Let's make that appointment. I'll do that. It means a lot to me that you're here for me. Clara, something isn't right. What are you talking about, Emily? I've been noticing your behavior, and now Troy is acting strangely too. What? You're overthinking. Everything's fine. We didn't do anything. Clara, I saw you and Troy meeting secretly last week, and I saw the text messages where you arranged these meetings. Why would you two meet secretly? Emily, it's not what you think. Then tell me, Clara, what's going on? Why are you meeting my fiance behind my back? Fine, if you want to know the truth that bad, I'll tell you. Troy was the one who got me pregnant. What the heck? Are you serious? I'm dead serious. I can't believe this. He wants to be with me, Emily. What the hell? That can't be true. Troy would never do that to me. Believe it or not, but that's what he told me. Maybe I'm just too attractive that he can't handle it. <laughs> What nonsense are you talking about? That was my fiance, and you're my sister. How could you do that? I didn't ask for this, but it's happening. He seems to be a nice person. He's also cute too. I don't know. Maybe I'm falling for him. What? Stop that! You're kidding, right? Tell me that you're kidding me. I'm sorry, Emily, but this is all true. No way! I have trusted both of you. Troy said he loved me and only me. We are about to get married at the end of the fall because I love the winter. So he wants our wedding to be at the beginning of winter. It must have been a mistake. Are you sure this is not a prank? If so, just stop it. It is not funny at all. Emily, face the fact. Troy's not into you anymore. He's all about me now. Why are you saying that to me? That's cruel. Ugh, stop being stubborn. Troy loves me, and I'm having his baby. Just accept it. What? You do all that kind of thing, and you tell me to accept it? You betrayal. I didn't mean to make this happen. You should think about your sister Emily. You said you were always going to be there for me. So please break up with Troy. Our parents even agreed to let us get married. Impossible! I don't believe this. They really agree with this nonsense thing? Unbelievable! I'm telling the truth. They accepted my pregnancy and our love. You should do that too, Emily. Shut up! How can I accept this? You two doing that kind of thing behind me? You are being selfish. What? I'm selfish? Listen, Emily. He's made his choice. 
You should let us be together. Stop clinging to Troy. He's no longer yours. This is a nightmare. I don't know what to believe anymore. You need to think about your sister and what's best for both of us. Our parents are supporting us, and you should too. I'll talk to mom. I don't think she would agree with these nonsense things. Ugh, it's up to you, Emily. But after asking, I hope you will give up on Troy. Mom, I want to ask you something. What is it, dear? Did you know what happened with Clara? Yes, I already know. She has confessed to me. Your father was there too. Do you believe everything she said? As a mother, I believe my daughter. Did you agree with her nonsense thing, Mom? I have no choice, sweetheart. That's your sister's rights and reputation. She's in trouble. As a mother, I have to support her. As a sister, you should do that too, Emily. I can't believe you're supporting Clara in this. She claims that Troy is the father of her baby, but I know she's lying. Troy would never do that to me. She's been manipulating the situation to her advantage. I know your heart is tearing apart right now, but this is not just about you. It's about our family's reputation. Clara's happiness and her future matter too. Don't you feel sorry for her, my poor daughter? How can you let your sister become a single mom like that? But mom, I love Troy. I can't just give him up because Clara is making up stories. I thought you would understand. Emily, I do understand. But sometimes we have to make difficult choices for the sake of our family's honor. Clara's future would be ruined if this scandal got out. She deserves a chance to make things right. It's not fair. I can't believe you're asking me to do this. What about me? What about my happiness? Don't you think about my feelings? I'm your daughter too. Emily, nothing is fair in this world. You are her older sister. You should know how to give in to your younger sister. Besides, you can get another fiance, but you can't undo the damage to Clara's reputation. This is the right thing to do. What? How can you say that? Finding a person who truly loves me is really hard. I know, darling. Believe me, I know. But doesn't it mean Troy doesn't love you that much? What do you mean? He loves me. Emily, calm down and listen carefully. We have already talked to Troy. He admitted everything and agreed to marry Clara. This is his decision. We didn't do anything. What? He did say that? Unbelievable! I can't believe the two of them did that to me. I don't want this, Mom. The world is cruel, dear. But think about your sister's future. Isn't she pitiful? So you take her side? I didn't take anyone's side, dear. Your father and I love both of you the same. We really don't know what is the best thing to do for both of you. So this is our most reasonable decision. Your most reasonable decision is to force me to break up with Troy and let him marry Clara. You're getting it wrong. We would never want to make this decision. It breaks our hearts when we see you hurting like that. But can't you see Troy does not love you anymore? If you keep continuing, we are afraid that he will make you suffer. After all, he is not a good person when doing that to both of my daughters. Please understand this for us. I get it now, Mom. It must be so hard for you two to do that. I'm so sorry, dear. My poor child. I don't think I'll stay in this house anymore. Please don't say that, dear. But it still hurts so much. It feels like my heart has torn apart. Is there anything I can do for you to make you feel better? How about a cup of hot chocolate? I'd love that, Mom. But right now, I really want to move out. I'll break up with Troy, so please let me move out. I can't believe those two anymore. If that's what you want, Emily, we'll respect your decision. If you need us, we'll always be by your side. When you feel too tired, just come home. We always hold the door for you. Thanks, Mom, for understanding. Anything for you, dear. Hey, Emily. How's life treating you these days? It's been a long time since I've seen you. Hey. Emily, Ugh, are you still there? 
Talk to me, sis. What do you want, Clara? Stop contacting me. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, don't be so serious, Emily. We haven't seen each other for a long time. I miss you so much. Stop talking bullshit. I remember I said never to contact me again. <laughs> Come on, Emily. I just want to know how my dear sister is doing these days. I'm not a sister to a person like you. Besides, we've already cut ties. I bet you still remember that. Don't say that harsh word. I'm just worried about my sister, and I have something to tell you. I don't want to hear that. I had my ultrasound, and it's a boy. The doctor said that my baby with Troy is a healthy boy. Isn't it wonderful? So what? Not my concern. Instead of wasting your time with me, you should take good care of your pregnancy. But do you know what the best thing is? It's Troy. He's just like an angel. He's so sophisticated and gallant. Troy treats me so sweetly, and our baby's gonna have the best dad ever. Sure, you're happy with a traitor. Congratulations. <laughs> Whatever you say, Emily. Thanks again for giving me Troy. Betrayer and betrayer are truly a match. <laughs> oh, stop that! You know, Emily, you should hurry up and get married and have some kids of your own too. Nope, I don't want to get another traitor. Keep it for yourself. I mean it. I'm very worried about you, sis. Oh, please. By the way, there is something you need to worry about more than me. And what is that? I'm not sure that the baby in your womb is Troy's. Huh? Jealous, Emily? There's no denying that Troy is a perfect husband. Moreover, I also have a child with him, and it's a boy. No wonder you're jealous because you don't have any of it. You believe that he will treat you like that forever? How naive! What are you saying, Emily? I'm still holding his child. Don't you remember? Of course he'll treat me well. Stop fantasizing about Troy. He's mine now. Get your own man, sis. Clara, it's not about jealousy, but it's okay. Your confidence and illusion are caused by ignorance. Then what on earth are you talking about? Get to the point. Stupid girl, Troy is infertile. Don't you know that? You don't know that, but you still boldly claim that it's Troy's child. I found out when we went to the doctor together. But I didn't tell him, so he never knew. Because back then, I still worried about his feelings. I worried that he might be sad. What a fool I am! <laughs> What? You're lying. Oh, I see how it is. You're being jealous, Emily. You're just trying to threaten me with my unborn child. But I'm not afraid of you. And because you still love Troy, you want to ruin our good relationship with some little lies. Do you think that by doing so, Troy will reconnect with you? Unfortunately, that will never happen. Not on my watch. Clara, I'm not lying. I'm telling you the truth. You can take him to the hospital to check it. I wish you all the best with your pregnancy, my dear sister. Wait, what? That can't be true. Are you sure about Troy? Yes, I'm pretty sure, Clara. I'd love to see his face when he realizes the baby was not his. Can't let him know that. He will somehow. Anyway, if the baby is not Troy's, then whose could it be? I wonder, Clara, is it your exes? <laughs> no, it's not. Stop saying nonsense things. Don't deny this, Clara. Your ex contacted me to ask about you since you blocked him. What? What was that fool doing? I know everything about you, my little liar sister. I also found out that you were the one who stole money from our parents. You pretended to be a scammer, defrauding your parents of nearly three hundred thousand dollars. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? Then let me tell you. Our parents are both older, so they don't know much about technology. So you took advantage of that and asked them to do what the scammer says so he could return the money. But the scammer is your ex-boyfriend, isn't it? <laughs> Am I right? No, you're wrong. We'll see about that. After completing that mission, you dumped him. Poor him. Because he was afraid of being reported to the police, he remained silent. Luckily, your ex-boyfriend stopped by and told me everything. 
You are truly a good child of your parents. <laughs> there is no proof I did that thing. You can do nothing about it. Oh, you don't even deny it. Good girl. What the heck? You tricked me. So you want proof, huh? Here you go. An audio file confessing all of your crimes from how you plan it to telling your ex-lover what to do. It was a coincidence that your ex-boyfriend has a short memory. He was afraid that if he messed up, you would be angry, so he secretly recorded it. I couldn't have imagined that from there. Evidence would be born to incriminate you. Thanks to his short memory. <laughs> oh, that stupid bastard. How dare he? He was once your lover. Go easy on him, Clara. Anyway, I think Troy has many things hiding from you. What? What is he hiding from me? I thought you said he's a wonderful man. But he has many secrets and you don't know? Stop talking like that! Well, he has been doing that for a long time. But you didn't know anything. Doing what? Clara, Clara. How naive you are. <laughs> Emily, just spill it out already. Fine, I will tell you. Troy was having an affair with a girl who worked at a bar. And she swindled money out of him. That's what he is. An adulterer. Clara, you are a liar. You betrayed me, lying to everyone, and this is what you get. An adulterer. <laughs> no, it can't be. I didn't think about that back then. I didn't know his true personality. I don't want this. You did it to yourself. It is too late to regret. Hmm. No. If we divorce, my child will grow up without a father. His friends will make fun of my baby. I cannot let that happen. What about my life? I can't live alone like that. <laughs> Why do I have to take care of all this mess? It's not fair! That's hilarious! Fair? Clara, you want fair. People like you have no right to ask for fairness. What? I'm a person too! Everyone deserves that! Then where is my fair when you ruined my relationship? Made me give up my fiancé and gave him to you. You are the one who harmed me, and now you have to pay for that. Not only that. You harmed your parents too. What will they think if they know the truth about their daughter? I can't imagine that. But it would not be a good one, don't you think? They'll kick me out of the house. Don't tell them. <laughs> don't worry. I won't tell them. Someone might though. What? Who? You'll figure it out soon, Clara. No, that can't be happening. You see, Clara? Bad actions have consequences. And the truth has a way of coming out. I hope you will have a sweet conversation with your husband tonight. Farewell, Clara. What? Wait a second. Emily, come back here! Hey, Emily. It has been a long time. How are you doing? What is it, Troy? I want to talk with you. I don't want to talk to any of you. If it's not important, then don't contact me. I'll block you. Wait, Emily, please listen. We need to talk. It's important. And what is that? I just found out the baby isn't mine, Emily. I don't know what to do. And what does that have to do with me? I don't care about your life. We are over. I was suspicious when the baby was born. He looked nothing like me. At that time, I didn't say anything because I was worried about Clara's health. She just gave birth to that child and probably won't be able to stand the excitement. However, the older he gets, the less he looks like me. So I secretly took the baby's hair and did a DNA test. Just as I suspected, we were not biological father and son. Of course, you guys are not biological fathers and sons. Because you cannot have a kid. You are infertile. <laughs> yeah, I discovered it at that time too. Wait, you knew all of it? From the beginning? Yes, Troy. I knew all along. But you didn't know that until now? Oh my gosh, Troy, you're stupid than I thought. <laughs> so I guess this is the price you pay for being an adulterer. Emily, I messed up. I can't believe I let it happen. I thought I could have both of you, but I was wrong. Both of us? Do you think that, Troy? What's been on your mind? What a bastard you are. Troy... You were my fiancé, and you betrayed me with my sister. How could you do this? 
It's not like that. I don't know, Emily. I was weak, and I messed up big time. I see. I'll forgive you, Troy. Really? No, Troy. That might be me in the past. Foolishly believe you. But you know what, Troy? You haven't changed at all. You're still the same, being an adulterer. That is not true. I have changed. Believe me. Stop lying, Troy. Those who drink will drink again. You went out drinking and ended up with another girl from a bar. How did you know that? Because that girl was an acquaintance of a friend of mine. She told me everything. It's not what it seems, Emily. <laughs> oh, really? Tell me about it. Emily, please, it's her. She seduced me, and then she scammed all my money. Why did all of this happen to me? I have made some mistakes, but I didn't deserve all of it. You cannot fool me anymore, Troy. You sure deserve all of it. Besides, you still meet your first girlfriend, right? You love her, huh? Even she has become a wife of another man and a mother of three kids. <laughs> you still secretly followed her. Impossible. How could you know? I know a lot of things, Troy. I even took pictures of her and her kids. You must have imagined that scene as her family. What a pervert! <laughs> I would never do that again, I swear. Emily, I ran out of money, and I've realized what a mess I've made. I want to be with you again. I want to make things right. Please, Emily, I know you still love me. I promise that I'll only love you. I'll never cheat anymore. Prove me. I will cut off all contact with extramarital relationships. I will divorce Clara and make her compensate for fraud. We will use that money to buy a house. A house for us and our beautiful children. If you give me a chance, I'll make that dream come true. Ha! <laughs> nice dream, Troy. But after all of what you have done, you think I'll come back to you? No, Troy. This is what you deserve for being a traitor, an adulterer, and a bastard. I never return to you. Never. Besides, I heard that you owe a huge amount of money and to contrive yourself, you mortgage your house. And if you don't pay off your debt, the bank will take the house back. Clara doesn't know about this, does she? <laughs> I wonder what her face will look like when she finds out. Well... Good luck with your huge debt and your fraud wife and your not-biological child, Troy. Take good care of your wife and your not-biological baby, Troy. Emily, please, give me another chance. I still love you. Troy, that's not love. You just want my money. I'm cutting off all contact with you. Goodbye, Troy. Emily, I've hit rock bottom. Please, don't leave. I've learned my lesson, and I want to make amends. Please, forgive me. An old neighbor of mine told me that Troy and Clara had a huge argument. Troy then left the house and left Clara with the baby. A few days later, Troy returned home looking spoiled and proposed to divorce Clara. Clara looked very devastated. She clung to Troy but he pushed her away mercilessly. After Troy left... The bank came to collect the debt and repossess the house. Kick them out? Poor Clara's son was only two years old and had to go through such a life. Finally, Clara returned to her mother's house. However, after learning the truth, her parents couldn't accept it and cut ties with her and then kicked her out. Clara now works part-time as a cashier at the supermarket and lives in a small, cramped apartment with her child. As for Troy, after losing all his money in his house, he is still haunted by debt and now has to borrow and beg everywhere. As for me, since moving to a new place far from my old house, I have a new, stable job. I have met a person who truly loves and appreciates me. Currently, I live very happily with my new boyfriend. <laughs>